And I look at him, and I'm like, holy cow, Marcus, that thing has some long beams. And I think he's got seven points. And finally, he clears the little bit of brush I was worried about. I hold the crosshairs. What happened? Hey folks, Randy Newberg here. We're doing another episode of what we call pivot points. These are haunts where you think about it and instantly this moment comes to mind. And that moment is usually where it gave you success or it resulted in an outcome you wish would have been different. So in this one, this is a 2016 Colorado rifle elk hunt that I'd burn 19 points for this tag. So if you wanna go watch the full episode, you can do that. And hopefully this expansion into the pivot point of this hunt will make a little more sense if you get to see the entire episode. So here's kind of how this one laid out. Marcus and I drove from Nevada. We'd just been on a, a mule deer hunt there and we drove straight through, got to Western Colorado that afternoon, jumped in the side-by-side -side and went and did a little scouting. We saw a few elk, but we saw a lot of hunters, lots of hunters. This unit's supposed to have all kinds of elk just running around everywhere. They're not behind every tree, like they said. They must be somewhere else. <clears throat> so the next day, Marcus and I go on a big tour of the unit in the side-by-side. -side. We go to this one spot where the road dead ends and it drops off into the mother of all canyons. In my heart, I know it's places like that that hold post rut in late season bull elk when it's heavy hunting pressure. We drop down in there and you can just smell elk. There are fresh droppings on the trails when we finally did locate the trail. Uh, and we make these loops and we get out in this little bit of a saddle where there's a canyon going this way and a canyon going that way. and we stand there and we're glass and it's like, oh, there's a bull there, there's a bull here, there's a bull there, there's a bull there. I knew that if there were going to be large numbers of bull elk, they were going to be in a place that nobody wanted to go to. It's the human condition that we want an easier path to success. And it's the, the behavior of elk where they know where you go and you can make it through a hunting season, especially a rifle hunting season. You've got to go where they are. Even if your better instincts say, oh man, I don't know about that. Because 99 out of the 100 hunters are going to walk up to that lip or look at that big mountain or cross that creek or whatever, all that deadfall. They're going to say, I don't need an elk that bad. If you really want to fill a tag, sometimes you have to want an elk that bad. And once you make that decision, that is the pivot point in your hunt. That is when success is going to land in your lap. And that's how it worked out in this hunt. It was resisting the temptations to take the easy route. So Marcus, thankfully, he talked me into taking the, the tougher route. And uh, I ended up with my best Colorado bull ever. And uh, very thankful for all of his help on the hunt but also on the pack out hopefully uh, this this kind of pivot point idea uh, gives you some thoughts of what's going through our head while we're out there and we'll get to some of them where the pivot point was not necessarily the outcome that we hoped for and we're going to start mostly with the elk hunts because that's what most of you seem to watch and uh, we'll start going through all of our older episodes and saying, all right, here's why that hunt got screwed up, or here's why this hunt worked. And hopefully in the process, you'll benefit from some of the mistakes we've made along the way. So thanks for watching.